The truce between Israel and Hamas has been delayed until Friday as anxiety over the release of hostages and humanitarian aid for Gaza continues. The first truce in a near seven-week-long war was reached after mediation efforts by Qatar and the United States. It has been hailed around the world as a sign of progress, raising hopes that it will ease the suffering of civilians in Gaza and bring home more Israeli captives. According to Israel's National Security Council director, the contract on the release of the hostages are advancing and continuing consistently. He further added that the start of the release will take place according to the original agreement between the sides, which was not before Friday. Meanwhile, Israeli air and ground operations continue. In a video released by IDF, the Israeli military chief of staff is seen with his troops in Gaza, where he says the fighting will continue until Israel wins this war. אנחנו מנסים לחבר בין מטרות המלחמה שהלחץ בתמרון הוא זה שיביא את היכולת להשיג גם את מטרת המלחמה הזו, לייצר את התנאים לשחרור החטופים. Meanwhile, as blasts are heard in northern Gaza, the IDF says that it has launched 300 airstrikes across the city. Israeli troops on the ground are destroying several tunnel networks in Gaza that they say are under a civilian infrastructure. The IDF also showed a group of journalists the tunnel network under the Al-Shifa hospital. The tunnels consisted of bathroom, kitchen, an air-conditioned meeting room as well. Meanwhile, it's not just the Israeli troops who are releasing videos from the ground. Hamas has also released a video in which their fighters are targeting Israeli vehicles and soldiers inside Gaza. The spokesperson for Israel's National Security Council has stressed that the delay in the truce deal does not indicate that the deal is in peril. However, some Gazans don't feel the same about the deal. They have expressed mistrust of the planned truce between Israel and Hamas. But also the Israelis, who are anxiously awaiting the release of their loved ones, while many families are disappointed by the postponement as well. This is a fake truce. They announce it, then they lie to people. They make them move, then they strike. This is not a life. We're not used to this. Our children run around appalled. This is so unfair. The families were very excited yesterday when we heard the news that there is a deal to release some of the kidnapped people, the children, the mothers. Uh, we were very disappointed this morning to learn that it will have been postponed. Uh, they didn't reach an agreement yet. And we are all just waiting in anxiety to know what is happening because we want our people back, our children back, as soon as possible. For more on the story, Lester Munson, senior fellow at the National Security Institute and co-head of BGR's International Practices, which is a leading government relations firm in Washington, D.C., is joining us live from Washington, D.C. Lester, thank you so much for joining us on We On and happy Thanksgiving. The pause was supposed to thank begin on much. Thursday. Now they say that it's going to be Friday. What are your thoughts on the possible reason for this delay? And are we going to see more delays well, well, we'll find out. Uh, I think that's a, a real likelihood that there'll be further delays. Remember, this uh, this arrangement for the exchange of uh, Palestinian prisoners with the Israeli uh, hostages is uh, happening at the same time, of course, that there's a war going on between Israel and Hamas. So this is the situation is quite complex. Israel has two goals here. One is to eliminate Hamas militarily. The other is to liberate the hostages who are still being held in Gaza, presumably still in Gaza. Uh, so those those two goals are, are uh, very difficult to do at the same time. It's admirable that this attempt is being made. I think we should all be very cautious in our expectations for good news to come here. Hopefully this happens soon. Uh, but again, it's a it's a very complex situation on the ground. So I think we have to be very careful with what we expect to happen in the near future. Yeah, bargaining on human life is never easy. Definitely very sensitive. Now there's talk that this temporary pause may turn into a permanent one. At least Hamas 
would want that. What are the chances of that happening? And what would this mean for Hamas and Israel's fight to defeat Hamas? Well, Hamas is surely attempting to use this uh, potentially coming ceasefire to advance its military goals. Israel is well aware of that. Israel is aware that its military goals are likely compromised by a ceasefire in order to exchange hostages. This is presumably why Hamas took the hostages in the first place a month and a half ago when it launched its uh, horrific attack on Israeli civilians. So this is all playing out uh, in, in the, this hostage situation is playing out in the context of a military situation. I think we have to be uh, very aware of that. Yeah, and so, um, I, I think uh, there's there's going to be some not very good news coming out of this situation. It's entirely possible that some of the hostages are no longer alive, and we need, we all need to be very guarded in in our expectations here. Yeah, at least for these 50, we've heard the United States say that it saw proof of life. We're hoping for the best and praying. Uh, Lester, thank you so much for joining us on We On this morning. And I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. My pleasure. Thank you.